Okay, in the next few videos, I want to help you learn how to do keyword research. Now, if you've heard anything about SEO, it simply stands for Search Engine Optimization. And it's, as a blogger or as a content creator, we need to be creating content that people are actually searching for. And what's fascinating about Google is they state that 15 to 20% of searches every single day are brand new searches. That is phenomenal when you really think about it. Out of all the stuff that's been written, all the stuff that's been searched, it's still ever growing. So how can we as subject matter experts find those profitable keywords that have a low competition but people are searching for them so we can rank even brand new sites. And that's what we're gonna be covering in the next few videos. Now, I have tried every kind of keyword research tool that's out there. Some of them are good, but they've got so many bloated features that a solo blogger like myself or like you, we don't need all those things. We don't need to be paying for all of those things, and they can tend to be overpriced. But there is a tool that I absolutely love called Low Fruits. Now, right below this video, you're going to find a link for Low Fruits. And what's cool about it is you can do keyword research and get volumes, search volumes, completely free in their tool, which is rare for keyword tools. Now, if you want to analyze them, you need to use credits. And there's two ways that you can do credits. You can just buy some credits, like $20, $25, get a couple thousand credits. Or you can do a monthly membership that got a couple of different tiers and you get some extra bonus tools with it. It's totally up to you. I would say definitely get the free account. Definitely at least buy a package of credits so you can do some of your initial analysis. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And then if you find the tool useful, consider doing the membership, the subscription base, because you get more credits every month. You get more for your money credits as well and lots of other cool stuff. So what we're going to be talking about in this video is actually how to find keywords. So I'm going to do a brand new project, something I've not done, but kind of a new niche I'm looking to get into. So I have purchased a, a domain called the thriftyresellerhub.com. And with this domain, I want to grow a blog and sell a course on how to sell books and how to sell sports cards on eBay, something I've been doing for the last year, and now I'm ready to start teaching other people how to do it. So we're gonna use this idea with a brand new website, and we're gonna jump into the screen. So here we are inside of Low Fruits. This is a very simple dashboard, and we're gonna start by coming over here to the Keyword Finder. Now, you can just simply um, create a report, and you can import keywords from any other tool that you have out there but we're just gonna use this keyword finder. Now this is completely free when you sign up for a free account. It's not a free trial, it's a free account and you can use this keyword finder as um, much as you want. So I'll zoom in here just a little bit. And um, basically it uses Google Autocomplete and you can go click on the link. I don't wanna to spend too much time here, but you can either search for a seed keyword and it'll find a lot of related keywords or you can do what's called a wildcard search. It's got an example in here. If you were to put best bike four and then put the little star, it's going to search Google for every word, every alphabet, I should say, best bike four, letter A in any words, best bike four, letter B in any words. So what we're going to do is I just want to focus on sell on eBay. I'm just gonna start here. Again, I've not done this search, so we'll see how it goes. If you click the advanced options, it's gonna know, do you have certain keywords you wanna include or exclude? I'm gonna leave it wide open. And then this is really helpful. Uh, and basically, I should explain this. Um, what Low Fruits does is it finds low DA sites. Now, what does DA mean? DA means domain authority, and it uses uh, Moz. So Moz is known for ranking every website on the internet from 1 to 100 based off of the strength of that website. So like my blogging your passion blog is a 47. So for a 47 domain, I can target 
keywords that a brand new site can't and rank for them. But there are plenty of keywords out there for brand new sites. So you have two options here. If you already have a domain or you've had a blog for a while, I would encourage you to just throw your domain in here and it will go find the DA authority for you so you don't have to do that. And what it'll do is on the once we do some analysis, it will show you keywords that have less authority than you. That means you can rank better for those keywords. But if you have a brand new site or you're just not sure, it's going to look for um, keywords that have pages ranking where the websites are lower than 20. So I'm gonna leave it at the default of 20. I'm gonna leave all of this, not gonna mess with any of this, and then we're just gonna hit find keywords. Okay, so what the, the, the um, software is doing now is it's searching all the long tail keyword ideas. Again, this part right here is completely free. So there's no reason not to go try out this tool. Again, a completely free keyword tool. It's only when you want to analyze it to find the low competition that you have to use some of your credits. So it's just about done. And uh, by the way, it's gonna create its own report and I can always add more keywords into this report over time if I want to. So I'm sure with sell on eBay, it's probably gonna return a few hundred keywords that I can analyze and look at. Um, and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there. So once this completes, and it looks like it found 2,469 keywords, I've got two options. I can either access all the keyword ideas for free, or I can just say, hey, go ahead and analyze the 1,737 high intent keywords. I typically never do the flat out analyze, although you could. I wanna access it first. So we're gonna click into access, and here we go. So we've got all of these keywords. Um, now look across the top here. This has, and I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger without messing it up too much. We'll go here. All the keywords, we have 2,469. A uh, thousand of them are suggestion keywords. So um, yeah, you can just kind of look through here for a suggestion. Question keywords are going to be how to, how can I, do I. These are great keywords to target. You can hide keywords if they're not relevant. And then in another video, we'll talk about clusters. So if I come back here to all, one of the things that you can do, and this is completely free, and it's the first step you wanna take now, is click on fetch volume. So we're gonna fetch volume, and it's going to fetch the volume on all these keywords. Again, that is completely free. So it's now going out, and it's fetching the volume. And you can see here that I've got lots of things to possibly analyze and look at. Can I sell on eBay without PayPal? Um, do things sell on eBay? How to find out what sells on eBay? Um, let's see here. How to see sold on eBay app? How to find sales on eBay? Now we can also use this area here, and you can see that's pretty fast. We already have the search volume. If I wanna rank the search volume, I can click here, and it will rank it from the most all the way down, okay? And I can also click on this topics right here, and this is going to give me an overview of kind of the core topics. And I can exclude things that I just am not interested in. So like right away I see India, if I click on that, it's gonna get rid of all the keywords that um, have India in them that are related to eBay. I'm not interested in selling jewelry, so I'm gonna mark that out. I don't really wanna sell DVDs, uh, Canada, Australia, eBay selling items, Amazon, I can leave Amazon in there. Uh, PayPal books, I definitely wanna leave. Etsy sellers. I don't want to do clothes, not really a clothes seller. Shipping can stay. Motors, I don't want motors. I don't want anything with cars. Shoes, I'm not going to be talking about shoes. 
and there's clothing. And so now I've been able to eliminate words. This is especially important when it comes to using some of your credits to analyze some of these. All right, so now you can also look at intent, status, include, exclude. I don't want this video to be too long, but intent is like high intent. They're looking to buy, buying kind of keywords. Status is if you've analyzed them or not. If you want to include certain words or exclude. If you want number of words, so you want to go for words that are more than four words, certain volume or CPC. So that is it for this particular video. That's kind of step one. So right now, if you want to follow along with me, then I would encourage you to click the link below and go ahead and sign up for an account. Click the KW Finder once you're in the account and put a seed keyword, a big topic keyword, and then click the button for volume so that you can have lots of keywords to look at. Okay, in the next video, we're going to dive into analyzing this to find the low hanging fruit. That's the idea of low fruits are topics that are searched, but they have weak competition. You'll be able to rank for these if you write blog posts on them. So we'll see you in the next video.